guys, this is Nana, and I'm in my little corner today. I've been a little busy. I've been decorating my house. I decorated my bathroom, and there's just one spot in my on um, the wall in there that is just blank, and I needed something for. So, well, let me just show you. You see this right here? This wall, this blank spot. I need something to go right there so that's what we're gonna do today okay um, what I'm gonna do see this little frame that I I made this little picture guess what I made it out of Dollar Tree bags the frame the little decoration I even used the little gift tag part of the gift tag that came on the bag and isn't that just adorable I love it I love the way it turned out so I'm gonna make three of them. I got this set of bags. They came together. It was three for a dollar. See, where's that little... I uh, know I kept it, but here it is. Somewhere around here. But trust me, there. You get three of these small bags for a dollar. You get one, two, and this other one. They each come with a little, a little gift tag on it. See, oh, that's a cute little snowflake. Can you see that? Yeah. So what I've done is I've cut them out. You see, I just cut them off the bag. Zoom out a little bit here. Oh, wrong way. Okay. I've cut the bag and trimmed them down. They're actually the perfect size. I just trimmed them down. You just have to trim very little off of these bags. It's perfect for these cute frames that I found in Dollar Tree. They're four by six and this is how they came in like a real dark um, almost like a, a brown. It's a brown with some black in it and maybe a little some little highlights of um, like an auburn color and what I've done is distress. You just take it apart. I want to just pop everything out. Put that aside and distress it. And all I use to distress it, let me put this one aside too, is some acrylic paint. I kind of just mix some paint that I had on hand. I have, this is Folk Arc Acrylic Color. What color is this? Taffy color. And then I used some Ivory White. Inexpensive, cheap paint. You can get in Walmart. Um any craft store. I'm not sure if Dollar Tree sells them, but anything that you have on hand will work. And I just mix them up together with a little bit of water. Got them good. The first one I did, I used the paintbrush and kind of painted it on, and then I get too much and I wiped it off. So the second one, what I found was much easier, was to take one of these cheap I don't know what 50 cent maybe if that sponge brushes and just dab some paint on it get it wet you kind of want to do it dry not totally dry where there's no paint but you just want to get some paint on it and then just swipe it across and see how it just gets it in certain spots and then if you do get too much on it's kind of like dry brushing basically you're just going to swipe a little bit of paint on. Need some more. You then you just dab it and go kind of across. And if you get too much on, just wipe it off with a paper towel. It's supposed to give it a distressed kind of look, an older look. You want to go straight. You don't want to kind of crisscross or anything. Well, I guess you could if you wanted to, but I think it gives it a nicer, I like it when you go straight with like the grain of the wood and see if you get too much I mean you can leave it like that or if you don't like it just swipe some of it off and it'll come right off and leave some behind and it dries very quickly I thought I was gonna have to wait for it to dry but in a matter of minutes it was good What do you think? Pretty good. And we're done. 
Now I've already trimmed out what I want to use, the bags, and we're just gonna turn it over, place it in there, get your well you don't have to put the backing on just yet you just want to kind of make sure it fits see kind of fits really good in there and if you want to trim a little bit off just look at it and see where you want to adjust it if you need to adjust it so that's we're gonna what we're gonna do so then I just took some of these branches these wire branches that you can get from Dollar Tree I don't know there's like 12 15 in a, a package for a dollar and they're just wire and what I did was I took some snips Let me move my paint out of the way here took some snips and just oh cut some small pieces off And I already have some cut. Oh, let, before I go further, while we have the paint out and before it dries, another thing that I did was because these are kind of like vintagey paper bags, and the the branches here are kind of bright green. So all I did was same technique, but this time I just kind of dabbed it on to branches and can you see that it gives it kind of like a, a snow look you just kind of dry put it on there and it tones the green down really well really really well just to make sure it's not too wet because you just want like little like it's been kissed with snow and just a little bit all over I like to do them in threes it seems that's kind of a rule of design you want odd numbers it seems like it would be off it wouldn't be even but it actually makes your sense of design a whole lot better when you do odd numbers whether it be one three five whatever you're doing but you do you if you like and you have that need to have it even and you go ahead and do that because it's your project so we got that and then it let's see on the back what you want to do what I've done is on that first one I used the ribbon actually little the bag holder part of it so you're using literally every part of this bag you just got little holes I mean if you want to use different ribbon or not don't use ribbon at all if you don't want to it's your project but I thought why not it gives it it matches it's got that look and the bag is cut up so you can't use it as a gift bag anymore and there's the little tag that's on it and so you want it to be even so what I did was two inches down from the top of the frame let's see can you see what I'm doing Move my water over so I don't spill it I'm gonna go two inches down and make a little mark right in the middle I'm just using the paintbrush because it's the back anyway of where you want the ribbon to be placed so that it's even Then you're going to take 
your glue gun and put a good old blob of glue right there in the middle. Take your ribbon. Wait, this is a weird angle I'm working at here. And push that down in there. Get some because it's hot, but you want it to go. You want it to be right in the middle and smush down into that hot glue so that it'll stay. When you hang it up, you don't want it falling off. And we're going to do the same on this side. Put a good heaping wad of hot glue there. Take your other side, and stick it right down in there, right in the middle of the frame. And then you let that dry. And I would say do this first before you decorate the outside of your frame. It'll just make it a little bit easier to lay it flat. And then you just let this dry. So let me get that dry, let that dry and I'll come back. Okay, so that's dry. And see, it's holding pretty good. And I've got the, went ahead and put everything back in. I put the glass and then you put your picture and then you just put all the backings back in the frame. So now it's time to decorate it. And I've got my... I cut out the little snowflake. It had a little hole in it for where the ribbon was through. So I just kind of fussy cut it around. And I think I'm going to put that there. And I think what I want to do is almost kind of like this other one. Kind of glue that hanging over the frame a little bit. And I thought I wanted to use a little pine cone. Um... I think I might go ahead and do, well, maybe we'll do both. I'm not sure. Well, let's glue it on and see how it looks. So I know I want this, so we're going to just put some of that right in the middle. Just glue it on. Right there to the frame. And then we're going to take and put some a glob of glue here in the corner. And we'll just press everything into that. So let's see. Okay. Put that there one down here at the side and then kind of maybe squish that up in there kind of natural careful hot glue you want to push it down into that glue so it stays kind of blow on it ah hot let's see what do you think the pine coal want a little red up in there. Maybe I'll just stick that. Huh. What do you think? I think I like it. Make them a little bit different. Similar, but different. Let's put some more glue. Oh, and I did go ahead and speckle some white. I think I want a little bit more white paint on the berries. So, oop, a little bit too much there. So they look a little sun-kissed as well. And like I said, acrylic paint does not take long to dry. But you do have some play time if you need to wipe it off. So let's see. Let's squish that down up in there. Oh, that's hot glue. <laughs> Careful of your fingers. As much as I've used hot glue, they're still not used to getting burnt. It still hurts every time. Put 
that in there and then we're just gonna stick this little pine cone right there I think cover up some of the berries and these were sprigs I'm just cutting apart from the Dollar Tree as well so if you think about it if you get a couple sprigs from the Dollar Tree of greenery maybe the branches that's one two dollars the frames were a dollar each three frames three dollars five dollars the bags were a dollar so for six dollars you can have yourself a beautiful display to hang on your wall uh, or you don't even have to hang them because these frames have the stands so you could make a dis uh, standing display as well but there you go and we're done we are done just take your little glue strings off before you hang it up or display it anywhere <laughs> and you'll be good to go how easy and adorable is that I'm gonna go and finish that third one and I will show you at the end how they all came out and how they're hanging on the wall so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give it a try it's an easy simple DIY cheap DIY and it also would make a wonderful gift a hostess gift uh, last minute need something you forgot just whip it up real quick it doesn't take long it's dry pack it up and you're gone and nobody will know the difference if you like this video give me a thumbs up let me know what you liked about it let me know if you if you try it I'd love to hear from you and I'll get I'll I reply just just leave me a comment and I'll reply um, don't forget to subscribe and share the videos because once we reach 50 subscribers I'm giving a giveaway away and I know you want to be in on that so hit that button and also hit the bell so you'll know when I post I have a lot more coming up don't forget to check out my snowman series and I'll see you in a bit when I'm done with these bye bye